Okay, so some things have passed, some burning needs to happen, but what is actually going on? There's so many proposals flying around around this 800 million USTC. Though I just want to break it down so that everybody is super clear on what is happening. A lot of people have been asking me where the burn is, what's going on with it. So we're going to break it down for you in this video. So be sure to like and share this video so that everybody knows exactly what is going on with this USTC. And then we'll take a look at some price action as well for Luna Classic and USTC. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. With that being said, let's head on over and see exactly what is going on. So... We had a number of proposals. If you remember, I've covered these now on the channel for quite some time. We had the very original 11658, which was the return of the community funds not used. And that was, again, from that pool that was never really came to any major fruition. We see here the Ozone V2 that was supposed to be under development, used and funded by the community pool from an initiative from Duck One that never really happened. That's where the 800 million USTC came from. Now, that opened up a number of debates as to exactly what should happen to it with a lot of people deciding to burn it some people saying it should go to the validators to the developers whatever it is so we've had a ton of kind of counter proposals that came in namely 11660 which was burn 100 of the funds should prop 1168 658 pass now what's interesting is both of these proposals have passed so the original return the community funds did pass the burn 100 did also pass as well we then had further proposals that came down signaling the proposal for destiny of 800 million USTC, the correct version we therefore had another one to split it differently we had proposals to burn 100 percent of the ozone funds there is just a ton of things going on as we stand right now fundamentally the two proposals that have passed which is a return the community funds that haven't been used they will come back out of that protocol and two we will burn 100 percent of that which is this one here so again when this happens they weren't specific obviously it's going to be fundamentally when the funds come from ozone and then once they're back they will then be sent to the burn wallet rather than anything else now within some of these other ones depending on whether these pass i don't know if they'll have to wait for some of these the easy one again that's come up is the 100 percent of the ozone funds once again again burning this to ensure that they go through so this is fundamentally a key point for the terra luna classic and ustc communities in that ultimately we want to see this burnt that's it burn it we never had it in the first place my view has always been to burn it as well it will make a bigger dent in the ustc supply as opposed to anything else we can see that we burned about 46 million luna classic today the ustc about 25,000, but the supply difference is massive again if you want to stay up to date though with any proposals that are coming on check out commonwealth again this is a massive debate about where they have we've got some very interesting burn tax initiatives again for Luna Classic, a 3% burn, a 2% burn on USTC. Also, the Hexagon, or what was the Terra Rebels? Again, some updates on here. So again, just be really clear. Obviously, your validators are ultimately deciding on where your vote should go, but just be really clued up in terms of what's going on because when we get big proposals and big voting opportunities it's critical that we do the right thing by the community and ultimately we are absolutely trying to rebuild the chain and really let people know exactly what they are missing out on so in terms of the stats just to have a quick look we see a massive sun staking about 390 million texas down to 14 0.93 and that has been happening now for the last couple of days where people are unstaking Terra Luna Classic. I'm not surprised because we have things like Shiba Inu that's absolutely flying right now as people are getting excited about the Shibarium launch then it doesn't surprise me one bit that people are moving out of Luna Classic to potentially move into Shibarium so we do need to be mindful of that but again we see those coming through as well as the community pool continues to fill with strength so this is starting to move back up in a significant manner which is great to see back up to about 911 million million Luna Classic, 5.25 million USTC. So absolutely going in the right direction on the back of that selling off in the funding of the L1 team and the Quant team. So we'll keep you up to date with everything going on. Just wanted to recap exactly where we are. So look, look out for the 800 million USTC burn. We'll keep you updated on this channel. If you're not already following me on my social media, check out in the description, follow me over on Twitter, and then you can see exactly when we see the burn coming through. But we'll have some more videos for you. We'll keep up to date. Be sure to turn that notification bell on. Subscribe to the channel for more. If you're still bullish on Luna Classic, drop a comment down below saying burn it, and I'll see you all very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.